calling the people back to the belief in the one God. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last of the prophets of the monotheistic religion. And Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people. But before we get into the reaction guys, I want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel. You guys are really amazing. We are trying to get to 11,000 subscribers and I know we're going to get there before the end of this month. We are at 11,000. We are at 10,400 and I know we can get there before the end of this month or probably can even get to 20,000 subscribers. Anything is possible. And this is because of you guys. You guys are really amazing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving us reaction videos. You guys are super amazing. And also thank you for commenting. There have been a lot of uh, positive comments. Uh, and you, you guys are just amazing. Anyway, if you're new to this channel, we're funny, Jesse. We do a lot of reaction videos. Just let us know in the comment section below what kind of reaction you want us to do, and we're gonna do it for you. So right about now, we're gonna do a reaction video, and this one we're gonna do, uh, and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people. So we're gonna react to, does the Quran say, don't take Jewish and Christian as friends? So let's find out uh, all about this. This should be a nice topic. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. Check this out. Welcome to the mailbag here on the Dean Show. I'm Yusuf Estes. Going to look through some of the mail here and talk about some of the answers to what we call the harsh questions. Because very often when we receive mail, you're dealing with questions about Islam, about the Muslims. And occasionally we get some that are pretty stiff. I'd like to address one right now. It's asking here, why does it say in the Quran that the Muslims cannot take the Jews and Christians as their friends? Well, first of all, let us realize that when people ask this, they, they perhaps they don't really know a lot of what's going on with Islam and the Quran. So let's take it easy on them. As Muslims, we should respond by saying, thank you for asking me about my religion. And then let them know and understand that in Islam, it's forbidden for us to tell any lies, whether it's about Islam or anything else. We can't lie. So what we're going to say to you is the truth, based on some very clear proof and evidence that we have. So here we are, we're going to say the truth and the proof. And the proof is the evidence that's preserved for over 1400 years. The Quran has never been altered or changed, so what it says is what it says in the Arabic language. Now let us look at this subject. Does it actually say that? And the fact is, it doesn't really say that. So let us deal with the real question, what does it say in the Quran about Jews and Christians? In fact, the people of the book are the closest to us in belief. What we have is actually inherited the next, if you will, uh, scenario of monotheism. It comes in the Old Testament, very clear, there's only one God. There are no gods beside God. He's the one and only God. There isn't any other beside him. Again, in the New Testament, we find this again. Say, O Israel, the Lord, your God is one Lord. So we understand that there's one God and he wants us to worship him without partners. Again, we have it with the Prophet Muhammad calling the people back to the belief in the one God. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last of the prophets of the monotheistic religion. And his scripture that came with him, the Quran, is preserved and we have it. Got it? Now, let's go to the question. What does it say? It uses the word awliya when it refers to this subject. And this is not friend. This is not the word for friend in Arabic. Uh, you would say khalil, this is a friend. But here it's saying real clear awliya. And the awliya are the allies. And you don't take somebody as an ally who could be against you. Or you don't take somebody as an ally, a close con uh, confidant, one that you're going to tell everything to that's not of your particular faith. It doesn't make sense. They're not going to understand a lot of what you're talking about. Perhaps some are even listening to me now not understanding what I'm talking about. And this is exactly why you don't pull them into that close confidence until they better understand. 
Once they have a better knowledge and a closeness to you as coming to you in belief, then it makes sense. The other word that's used is betana. In another verse in the Quran, it warns you not to take the Jews and Christians as betana. But what does that mean? It doesn't mean friend. Not at all. As a matter of fact, it means like the inside lining of your clothes to bring somebody really tight and close up against you. And this is the one that you confide your biggest secrets to. That's what it's telling you not to do. As far as friends, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the example for Muslims. And look how many times he was doing business with the Jews. He was befriending the Jews. And they would loan him money and he would give them his armor as collateral till he could pay it back. This is not what it says. It does not order the Muslims to mistreat or abuse their neighbors because of their religion. Understand that there is a difference in our beliefs and certainly there is a difference in the way we would handle certain things but then would that be any different than say for instance the Catholic Church and let's say the Hindus where well, they would be treated with a lot of respect they still wouldn't go to them and take them in and say guys would you like to advise us on how maybe we could come up with the next council meeting and talk about our religion it's not the same religion it's not the same thing I hope that helps you to better understand that. I want to take a break. I want to come back. We've got some more about Jews and Christians and their treatment and Islam. Stay right there. We're going to be back with more mailbag here on The Dean Show. Wow. Such an amazing message right there. Such an amazing uh, video too. I mean, you know... Uh, Back in those days when I started knowing Islam, I didn't know much about Islam. So I just heard that uh, the Muslims they don't like like uh, they don't like being with uh, people who are, are not Muslims. You get it? Like they don't want to mingle with them, and they call them uh, probably this name can't even come out of my mind, um, like kafir or something like that. I don't know what it means at that particular time when I was young. I had that name and it's like they're not of pure, like they're not of, of, of God's people, it's something like that, you get it. So uh, as I was growing up, I was wondering why would a religion try and let their people call other religion or other people who are not of uh, Muslim or, Islam re or, or Islamic religion, Kafi or people of uh, people who don't belong to, uh, to probably uh, God's kingdom or something like that uh, but when I started now digging deep about Islam I actually realized it's actually the opposite I mean the people the Islamic people the Muslims are really good people you get it and I don't think so the Quran tells them to not mingle with these people or not to um, befriend Jewish or Christians or maybe uh, in the Indians or Hinduism or people who are in you know this other religion I don't think uh, Muslims are being taught that way I don't think they're being taught in a really good way they're being taught to be religious and I don't think that's their way of, of life because I've encountered a lot of Muslims and they're really good people they're people who wants to see other person not suffering they want to give they want to help they want to see them probably succeed in something like that and we it's, it's, it's a really good gesture. So this video, right, I think there is some misconception about uh, what the Quran says, or maybe people take it in a different way, but uh, he really explained it in a very good way. And I feel like, I don't think there is, I don't think any religion out there is, uh, is teaching them how to befriend other people or teaching them not to mingle with other uh, religions. I mean, it shouldn't be that way. Come on. I mean, if I'm a Muslim and you're a Christian, we should be able to talk to each other. Uh, furthermore, if we can exchange one or two uh, scriptures from our, you know, just let us educate each other. You know, I believe uh, probably as a Christian, I need to understand what Muslim is or what Islam is. As a Islam or as a Muslim, you're supposed to understand what Christianity is or what is Judaism is. I think we should have that knowledge. I feel so. That's that's my own opinion. I feel we should have that knowledge. And also, uh, 
if the religion if the religious book saying like let's love each other does it does it mean that we should love the christians only does it mean that we should love the muslim people only i don't think it says i think it just say love everybody or treat your brother the same way you treat your 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 your, your blood brother or something like that like just i think it's something that it shouldn't be practiced i mean not being friends with people because i'm of this type of a religion i think that's being civilized that's being backwards it shouldn't be that way anyway guys if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in the comment section or comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction what do you feel about this video right here it's a very really important video i know there's so much going on in the society nowadays I mean, this person cannot sit with this person because they're of different culture or because they're of this different religion. I don't think it should be that way. Just let me know in the comment section. What do you think about the whole video? Or what do you think? Do you think that it's kind of rapid and it's happening? Or uh, you think that uh, these things should be eradicated and people should love each other and not look into, uh, like, what the... Uh, the title of saying like does the Quran say don't take Jewish and Christians as friends but I don't think it says that this probably is just a misconception about uh, uh, just um, scriptures and whatnot I, I don't think any religion out there has the capability of saying such kind of things it would be so bad if there is one anyway Thank you so much. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.